Hello you fantastic people and welcome back to Borderlands 3 to my first ever Amara build I've ever created in two years of playing this game pretty much non-stop. We're calling this one the Goddess of Damage Amara because it needed a cooler name I kind of already taken the other ones. But here is some gameplay on screen so you guys can check it out. This thing is insane at pretty much everything. Mobbing is ridiculous. It's actually one of the fastest builds I have out of any of my characters at clearing uh, melee one and guardian takedown as well as all the trials. So it's really fun doing that. It's generally like all my other builds i try and have as many weapons uh viable and you know good to use within the same build non-dlc specific and if you have dlc you just have more gear essentially it's also really good at mobbing the base game bosses or the dlc bosses as for the raid boss it definitely can do it but in you know, comparison to my other builds i definitely have faster raid boss killing machines so maybe i'll have to try and uh, make another amara build focused on raid bosses for you guys next if that's something you're interested in but as usual we'll go through everything you guys need to know to rock this build at level 70 to mayhem 11 including the weapons the annoyments on those weapons and in what situation to use them both in as well as the gear shields artifacts class ones grenades and the level 72 skill tree which by the way is insane coming from a flak mains perspective this skill tree blows my mind how she works and i understand why it took me so long to play amara but if you guys are from this channel or flak mains or have never played amara i would highly recommend because she is so much fun particularly mobbing situations if you like doing any end game stuff like takedowns or trials and you're like you know just absolutely blowing up the entire room amara is ridiculously good at doing that for example my first ever time running amara through the guardian takedown absolutely smashed my fastest time as flak out of the park and it's not like i particularly speed run or anything but just the noticeable difference was huge how quickly she can just clear a room the crystal stages are absolutely no problem and the bosses uh, you just smash them as well but now jumping to the stuff you guys need for the build, starting off with the anointments. The regular kid set kits next to mags are just two basic great ones you can have on pretty much any weapon. If you have those on yours, you're pretty much set to go. But the two that I'm primarily using are 250% bonus uh, damage after phase cast. Super easy for bossing situations. You can apply it straight away very easily. And the weapon's going to have that for the whole boss fight uh, up, ready to go. As for mobbing situations, the reason I actually wanted to play Amara originally after, you know, delaying it for so long and just kind of ignoring her existence, uh, Lazy Data, a YouTuber slash streamer in the community, if you don't know who he is, I'll link him in the description down below. Guys, a legend posted a video about a fully automatic Hellwalker, and as soon as I saw that video, I knew I had to play Amara because that is just the coolest thing ever. So I made sure I implemented that idea in my build as well. It includes other weapons, but just seeing a fully automatic Hellwalker just went, I have to play Amara, and that is using an anointment called on kill get 13 percent weapon damage and reload speed and it stacks uh, i believe it lasts for eight seconds as well but you can stack that up really really high to the point where your guns automatically reload to like the animation isn't even there it's just insanely quick so a hellwalker goes burr a trick shot goes burr you can have that on the radical the free radical is a huge one we're using it on an opq system is insane and no pure pure cov uh ar there is a bunch of different things pretty much anything cov you're really you really see the difference but anything you guys can think of that annoys you when you have to stop and reload applying that anointment to it is insane you'd have to use it in mobbing situations because getting kills is what really stacks up its damage and its reload speed otherwise other anointments are going to be better in bossing situations but as you guys are probably already seeing in the clips having this anointment on all of these weapons makes her so quick through the melee one takedown guardian takedown or any of the trials which is like the main idea behind the build because that's what i'm doing a whole bunch on stream at the moment and it is a ton of Oh, fun. Now, as for the weapons, you guys are going to be rocking, like I said, huge selection, non-DLC specific, but there is a bunch of DLC weapons in here because they're just some of the best weapons in the game. Starting off with the free Radical. This one is, I'd say, the primary weapon in this build. Running through any trial, any takedown, anything is all you need is a Radical. Believe it or not, it's only a shock locked weapon, but it is just that good. You can even get a stronger one than the one I have. I have 101k. I believe it goes up to 108, so you can farm that one out if you would like. Like I said, the Hellwalker is insane. The reload speed on that is just incredible. Main reason why I started playing this character. The OPQ system is also incredibly quick, pinpoint accurate. I just clearing through uh, Malawan takedown, Guardian takedown, trials, etc. The Sandhawk, I think I want to say, is the fastest bossing weapon 
in the build. It ridiculously quick and just absolutely melts the base game bosses. In the backpack, we have the prompt criticals as well as the unkempt heralds. Reloading those instantly is so much fun, particularly for the prompt criticals on sticky mode. Being able to proc that all the time very quickly and not have to worry about the animation is great. The lachos are pretty much a staple for all builds. I have phase cast on those because I'm not really using those in mobbing. Uh, for the tizzy, same thing. Uh, you can use it in mobbing situations because that reload speed is pretty much gone now, but it is kind of annoying uh, running out of ammo, so I kind of leave that one for the bossing situation. The trick shot is up there with one of the best weapons in this build. Getting rid of the reload speed and just obliterating everything you hit is a ton of fun. The Maggie is also really good, but I'd say the trick shot outdoes it in this build, particularly because just not having the reload is making the trick shots DPS a bit stronger. The Torrents are really, really good. Not having to reload those and just burring constantly is insane. But again, same thing as the Tizzy. You're probably going to run out of ammo very, very quickly. The Crit SMG is just as disgusting as it's always been since its buff. Uh, only use it for bossing situations and just deletes anybody that has an open crit spot like Grave Ward. Both the Bloodstar Beast and the Flipper are pretty solid as well with the reload speed uh, anoint. They're not fantastic, but the Flipper, I was trying to get it a bit closer to Mose, we didn't have to worry about not having maximum pellets up all the time because we have a solid charge time, fire rate, and reload speed in this build. But it's not fantastic. It was just fun to mess around with. The Plasma Coil, just an amazing weapon chucked in here as well. The Illusions Coal, I have consecutive hits on because you very rarely run out of ammo, but it's very nice um, having the ton of ricochets going at the same time. The Monarchs are just fantastic. You gotta have those in there for pretty much every build. I chuck phase cast on them for bossing situations. They are the fastest uh, Hermie killer. So if you guys wanna try and go fast Hermie times with this build, that's probably gonna be the one to go. But like I said, it's not based around trying to get fast Hermie builds uh, for the build the no pew pew is insane i already like the no pew pew but not having to reload it just watching that cov animation be like less than a second is so much fun and it's very good for a room clearing the boomsicle solid af as well already a good weapon and just having that uh ricochet as well as the uh, no reload speed is very very nice the butcher one of the most busted weapons in the game chuck consecutive hits on there and you can't go wrong you'll clear everything in the entire game the rowan's coal definitely up there with one of the best weapons as well the ricochet crazy high damage and just just not having to reload and just having crazy amounts of damage at the moment highly recommend we have another hellwalker in here for phase cast i have uh two annoyance on the same weapon depending on which one i like using in bossing and mobbing so we got phase cast on a hellwalker as well as the kill skill anoint as well the skull masher i just felt like messing around with it. it's a solid bossing weapon as well if you guys chuck on phase cast and then we have the sandhawk in corrosive and we have a annexed boogeyman also quite good in mobbing and bossing situations as for the gear you guys want to rock i have a revolter because that thing is just unbeatable at the moment as for shields in the game action skill start anoint is just ridiculous i got given a triple at ad ad adaptive that's the word uh roll which essentially means you're just very elemental resistant which is nice don't need it on there i just had a regular revolter before uh if you guys don't have that dlc i would recommend an old god that's also a fantastic shield buffing elemental damage even more it's very nice if you only have base game i would go for a stop gap with action skill start as well or a fun nova shield you can mess around with it could be like a frozen heart which i have in a lot of my other builds as well as for grenades i pretty much just use these for the action skill and elemental anoint you can have whatever grenade you want to be honest a cloning or mitosis hunter seeker is my regular go-to or something like a it's piss is also good for uh, extra 20 percent damage to enemies you've hit so for bossing situations as for the class mod we are using a phase zerker all the way essentially on action skill uh used amara gains her max rush stacks which i'll explain in the skill tree later but they slowly decay over time amara gains two percent weapon damage and one percent action skill cooldown rate per rush stack and we have a ton of rush rush stacks we're keeping them up all the time so that weapon damage and action skill cooldown which is huge for amara like you really really need it uh is very very helpful try and go for the best passives you can i have some fantastic ones after farming literally one week from the loot the universe event which you have one week left of so if you guys go ham try and get the best world drops you can you just want to go for the best passives that add up to a ton of damage for whatever particular weapon you are using if you try and make a build and you are lacking damage to what you see in a build video, the primary thing that I would say is passives on a class mod you guys need to farm out for. If you haven't seen the Loot the Universe event video I posted uh, two days ago, check out that. It'll be linked at the end or in the description. Very useful for getting all these class mods because I literally had zero a week ago and i've managed to get all of these that quickly as for artifacts there is a bunch of different options i have all of my best company men in here for the save file which is always in the description by the way if you guys would like for pc 
try and go for damage and crit damage at 50 percent you can't always get it but you know whatever you can manage to get then fire rate or reload speed as the other main passive and then the bottom passives go for mag size action skill cooldown rate is huge area effect damage you can get reload speed again you get in particular damage types anything that's beneficial to the build just try and get the best possible roll you can because that will then outdo the pearl if you can't uh, get those, if you're just, you know, trying to farm up that, go for the Pearl. It's a fantastic just base one to use. Uh, it's just great. If you don't have either of those DLCs, go for a Snowdrift Victory Rush. Try and get the best passes you can on that so we'll keep up with the DLC ones. And I always have a cut personal launch pad for getting ammo back into the weapon I'm using if I run out in a Guardian Takedown. Or even, honestly, a Melee One Takedown. If you're just using a fully automatic Hellwalker, you just absolutely chew through ammo. So having one of these on this build is definitely essential. Now, as for the level 72 skill tree for our Amara, build i'm gonna run through everything because i'm new to amara in case any of you guys are new to amara i'll explain everything for you starting off with the action skill we are using ties that bind because it's literally insane you face grasp an enemy and it has little links or chains ties that bind to enemies nearby if you shoot any of those enemies linked you do a crazy amount of damage to everybody linked in the area essentially grasp one shoot one kill all of them it's ridiculous. As for the augments, we're going to have uh, different elemental types depending on what character, uh, sorry, what enemy you are using. You want to be as most ele ele ugh, elemental efficient as possible. I don't know why I can't words, but soul fire is the main one if you're using melee one uh, enemies. If you guys want shock, by the way, click R or whatever button it is on console to manage a loadout and then unequip fire. That's how you find shock. Corrosive is in green tree. Cryo is in purple tree if you have it. And that's all the ones you currently have access to. And I'll show you guys the other augment when we get to blue tree. As for skill points spent, we got five points in infusion. Convert, uh, convert a portion of damage dealt by Amara's weapons into her action skill element. That is amazing. Non-elemental weapons can now do elemental damage based on whatever... Uh, augment you have applied to your action skill which is dope or if you already have an element weapon which is locked like the radical you can apply extra elements to it which is dope five points in anima if that's how you pronounce it increased status effect damage and over time which is nice because we're doing a lot of elemental damage five points in tempest amara deals increased elemental damage and shock damage is increased again damage nice one point in a dread amara's gun damage is increased for a few seconds after she grasped an enemy which is pretty much all the time in mobbing situations we're just going from uh area to area grasping one in the middle of the area and killing everything at the same time whenever any player kills a grasp enemy their current uh weapon is instantly reloaded which is dope because you're just adding to that never having to reload or having full magazine at all times with this build one point in deep well having increased 20 percent mag size is just nice to have and it's only one point so why not three points in indiscriminate is one of amara's best skills it's insane amara's bullets that damage an enemy have a chance to ricochet and deal decreased damage to nearby enemies ricochet chance and damage are increased if the target is currently phase grasp or stillness of mind which we're not currently using but we are phase grasping which is ridiculous essentially you have uh like flak has on hitting critical hits ricocheting at two nearby enemies with jacob's weapons yeah amara gets that with everything and she doesn't even have to hit a critical hit which is ridiculously nice and really contributes to just clearing uh rooms phase grasping one and and just ricochets to everyone blows everyone up it's amazing uh five points in conflux we get an extra two from our class not at the moment when amara uh, uh, when amara applies a stats effect to an enemy she gains a chance to randomly uh electrocute ignite or melt an enemy which is nice you're just doing more um elemental damage and just taking everybody out super quick now we only put four points in here because we're putting one point in sustainment this is literally every flak main's dream that has ever complained about survivability because this is all amara needs to survive any situation ever essentially amara gains life steal whenever she has uh whenever she deals elemental damage with her weapon which is all the goddamn time you can literally take every hit that hermivorous hits it hits you with you can take all the rocket shots from wotan and if you're standing there shooting something with an elemental weapon you cannot die with no health boosts which is insane one point by the way that's how good it is one point in forceful expression amara's gain uh, amara's guns deal bonus elemental damage based on an action skill element 18 percent of damage dealt which is just more damage you can't go wrong as a green tree we've got three points in personal space amara deals bonus damage the closer she is to an enemy up to 54 percent bonus damage so if you're using a hellwalker get up in their face and you're going to do a crazy amount of extra damage an extra two points in clarity we have two extra from our class mod as well essentially you regenerate more health the lower uh your health currently is which is just making sure we never die even if we can't find an enemy to shoot an elemental weapon at and it's also just to get down the tree to arms deal five points in here amara deals 
heals increased splash damage and takes reduced splash damage, which is quite nice. We're doing a fair amount of splash damage with a lot of our different weapons. Also, there is the corrosive augment if you guys want to chuck on a corrosive instead of fire. If you're versing anybody armored, that's the one to go for. Purple tree, I said it's a non DLC specific, uh, but we have five points in heavy or rain. Amara's weapon gains increased projectile speed and splash damage. That is very nice, but not super necessary. So if you guys don't have pebble tree, don't stress. I'll show you where to put those extra five points at the end. But if you have it, why not chuck the five points in there? Uh, blue tree, the final one here, we have three points in fast uh, fast hands. I can't words today. Amara's reload speed, weapon soft speed, and mode switch speed is increased. The main one we're going for there is the 19% reload speed. Quite nice. One point in do harm, killing an enemy grants Amara a stack of rush. Activating action skill consumes all rush stacks. For every stack of rush consumed, Amara's action skill damage is temporarily increased. Only one point in there, and then one point in violent tapestry if that's how you pronounce it applying a status effect grants amara a stack of rush stacks that is essentially keeping our rush stacks at maximum all the time because we're always doing status effects we're going to have that up all the time very quickly which is really really helping with one our damage to our reload speed which in turn helps with the damage because we're always shooting then moving down the tree we have three points in transcend increase accuracy but the main thing 27 percent increased critical hit damage which is a nice it's nice to see some critical hit damage in this tree five points in alacrity if that's how it's pronounced amara gains increased reload speed for every stack of rush after consuming rush stacks this bonus increased for a few seconds five points in there two percent per stack 2.9 percent extra after action skill use which is regularly and that lasts for eight seconds you're seeing where a huge Huge amount of reload speed comes from because we're going to have a lot of rush stacks uh over to restless amara gains increased action skill cooldown rate by 25 percent we really need that because action skill cooldown is huge with this build we want to have it all the time because it's what's really clearing all the rooms three points in wrath uh amara gains increased gun damage this effect is increased after she activates her action skill for a few seconds gun damage 20 percent and extra 20 percent on top of that after action skill use which is nice uh, laid bare, three points in there as well. Enemies take increased damage uh, from all sources a few seconds after we damaged by Amara's action skill. So if you're using bossing situations, you want to use phase cast because you can hit the enemy, then essentially applying a debuff, getting an extra 25% damage against them for eight seconds. Uh, three points from arrest. Amara gains increased uh, fire rate and charge time, which is not super necessary for all weapons, but things like a radical is really benefiting from that 44% extra charge time as really nice to have. One point in Remnant, you only need one point and is one of her most busted skills and is really fun to watch uh, in action. When Amara kills an enemy with a gun or action skill, which a uh, gun most of the time, she creates a homing projectile that seeks out a nearby enemy dealing action skill elemental damage. Any overkill damage is added to the projectile's damage, which is insane. You literally one shot I would say 9 out of 10 things that gets hit by the Remnant Orb. You have to do an incredibly low amount of damage for it not to one-shot them uh, with the Orb, which is just ridiculous. Trust me, you want one point in here. As for the final skill point spent, we got one point in Avatar Blue Tree Capstone. Amaro's action skill can be activated whilst it's in cooldown, which is awesome. Once per cooldown, and you also get an extra 10 uh, max rush stacks. So to start off with rush stacks, you get 10 by putting one point in Do Harm or Violent Tapestry. You get an extra 10 via Avatar. You get an extra 5 via the Phase Zerka Class Mod. So 25 max um, rush stacks, you're going to have 50% bonus weapon damage via the Class Mod. You can have 25% extra action skill cooldown rate via the Class Mod and you're going to be stacking up alacrity like crazy which leads to those instantaneous uh reloads of the hellwalker or pretty much any gun that uh you don't want to watch the reload animation for that's going to go burr via that now as for your action skill augments th pretty much the only one that i use if i use any to be honest is soul sap a portion of all the damage dealt by amara's action skill is returned to her or nearby allies as health 30 percent of the skill damage dealt is the life steal, which is nice honestly i don't really use one for the entire testing of my build i just chucked it on the end and you know tried it out it does work but it's not really necessary uh the main things you're going to be um using is ties that bind with your elements fire or shock there corrosive there or cryo here and then whenever you are versing bosses you just chuck on phase cast and you are good to go with whatever elemental uh, type you are trying to use essentially against the boss 
Oh, and almost forgot, if you guys don't have the purple tree, you can move these five points elsewhere. The three points uh, to start off with, I put it in steady hands for increased handling and accuracy will really help when you're trying to go burrow with a hellwalker that really just starts to kick off. So having the increased accuracy, hitting things at range will really help. The other two points, honestly, wherever you guys would like to put them, it will work a bit more health regen, a little bit more damage reduction. You could put two points in awakening for some rush stack effectiveness. Won't make a huge difference. So wherever you guys would like to put them. And that is Goddess of Damage, Amara. I hope you guys found the video helpful or enjoyable. If you did, don't forget to smash subscribe down below. Click that like button. Both are totally free. Help me out a bunch. And then let's do appreciate it. Other than that, we have a Twitch we stream through tonight, and we also have a Discord filled with awesome people. Linked in the description if you guys want to check out those. And other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video and a live stream. Till then, adios.